bus, your own purse, and then any laundry and stuff, just pop it into the laundry basket, or the dirt cables in there. And any questions, let us know, please. We'll do it. Okay. Thank you. So I'll see you out there in two, three minutes. I'll go out now. I'll give you some tips in a minute. Um, so when you're traveling and stuff, the vehicle, we can leave the vehicle, uh, the bullets for the ammunition inside the mag magazine, obviously just landing in the mm -hmm. beach. Okay. And it takes three counts with you. And you have a safe to fire whenever you're ready. Excellent. Excellent stuff. <laughs> now you can do it, so I can see you. No, you've practiced pretty well. Yep, put another one in. Even better. <laughs> good. Right, good. Yeah, I wouldn't even know. Thank you. Do you want to have another one? No, I'm good. done. Yeah, I reckon you save our ammo. <laughs> the afternoon of the arrival at Nick's place, uh, ben Benjamin picked me up at the airport. Nadine was waiting on us when we got here to the lodge. Everything's going good. Good flight. We did have to stop uh, on the runway and wait for a puff adder to get out of the, the travel path. So wintertime in South Africa and you still have to worry about the snakes. So far everything's been great. We just did a couple of shots. I can't see them. Benjamin seems to be happy with it so we're going to give it a go and see what happens. It's our first morning of hunting here with Nick and uh, we just been 30 minutes or so left the lodge we've seen Jim's buck, sable, very nice sable I'm told, uh, monkeys, mongoose, rabbits and uh, yesterday afternoon we rode around a little while and saw uh, kudu, impala, a porcupine that I'm told we've got good footage of that it's a rare sight in the daylight. Uh, got Benjamin, he's going to be our PH today and keep me out of trouble. Got Nadine, she's going to video this for those of y'all back at home. Y'all can join along and go with us on this adventure. I'm told there's a nice Gims buck here. We're going to see if we can sneak up on him and uh, take what else Africa offers. So we've walked up this valley probably about two miles and uh, we've spotted it. I think it's the same Gemsbrook bull which we want to take. Uh, wish us some luck.
good shot. Just put another one into him if you can. Oh, wait. It's fine. Good. You've hit him. It's not going to go far. Thank you. OK, let's put another one into him there. He's going down, though. He's standing there. It's the one to the right of the bush. OK, just put one into him if you can. Uh, yeah, it's a great shot. You've got him on the shoulders there. You can see the blood. Yeah, he is moving that way. So. That's a blood pumping. Yeah. That's going fat more. There you go. A large walk. That is one hell of a ball. I didn't realise his leg was that gimpy, no, but no. he was. <laughs> but uh, to have a leg like that and still be in good condition, incredible. And that's one incredible Gims Buck ball. That is a giant. Oh, yeah. yeah, he's thick and carries his mass all the way up. Beautiful, beautiful animal and good shot. Yeah, so that was just on about 250 yards. I didn't do much to the scope, yeah. I just thought it would be. Quite fine at that distance. Um, it's an absolute beauty. Beautiful one. He's got a beautiful cape on him. Yeah. And a lovely animal to take in the situation. Yeah. Okay. Well, here we are about an hour, hour and a half maybe from the truck. Took a little leisurely stroll down the river bank. Crossed over a couple of times. Benjamin knew this buck was in here. He, uh, or bull rather. And he got us in a good position. Uh, had to reposition ourselves a couple of times to get a better angle on the bull. But uh, this is a great, great morning, great first African animal. Uh, very, very proud with the uh, Nick and Benjamin, their outfit, first class all the way. Alright, this is the afternoon of the first day hunt. We're just getting back out in the field. Uh, had some lunch, some rest. Had a great morning this morning with the Gims Buck, the first African animal. We're up here on the ridge. It's kind of windy this afternoon. We're seeing what's down in the valleys and looking for a spring buck or impala or uh, possibly a kudu. So we'll see what happens. shoot but no uh, according to Benjamin we're gonna watch him a little while let him kind of feed through we're looking for a good animal we've got way too much time to just shoot what might be nice we're gonna wait for a proper animal. Yeah, we've got lots of impala and springbok so no point in just shooting the first one first good one there are plenty exceptional rams out there
last spot in Impala. And uh, yeah, we'll see if we can get lucky. It looked really good from where we had spotted it initially. It's getting dark. Yeah, and it's also getting dark. It's about five o'clock in the afternoon and uh, quite a big cloud cover above us. Something wrong with that front one, I don't want to shoot it. There was something, there was an irritation on his. That's why I kept on scratching like that. There was something wrong with that animal. That other one is still. You can just barely see it through the trees there. Yeah. No, leave it, it's not good enough for you as well. That first one was nice, just something wrong with it. That was awesome. <laughs> Oh, it was nice and neat. We got what, 35 yards of them? Yeah. Very cool. Yeah. Well, nice way to end off our afternoon, I must say. Let's head back to the vehicle and see if they found us something for dinner. Second morning of the hunt. Getting a little later start today. We've had some rain this morning. Uh, still a little drizzly, cooler weather. Uh, just finished a good breakfast and looking at some impala now. We're gonna see what uh, we can get done today. Thank you. 
well done. <laughs> Good job. Yeah. Beautiful ramp, well done, Andy. That was a good little stalk that. Thank Cheers boss. Man. Absolute pleasure. Good. It was good. I enjoyed it, yeah. Yeah, it was a little bit well, of rain. Yeah, it stayed on the stick longer waiting on him to give us a good shot than it took For a sure. stalk in on it. Yeah. So it exited mm. exited here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It really isn't a bad shot that it's uh, you know for the opportunity that he gave you. Yeah, he carries his mass all the way up. That was a beautiful run. I love him. <laughs> no, I like him. Well. No, he's got a thick neck. He's got a big body. Beautiful animal. To, uh, yeah. Number two. Fantastic. Well done again. I'm Thank you, sir. Absolutely. All right, here we are the second morning with Nick. It's about noon. Uh, had a little rain delay this morning, and I think it's going to clear up, but we found a nice Impala. Benjamin snuck us in here on him pretty well using Benjamin's. Howell 300 wind mag and uh, it got the job done. Very pleased with the second African animal of this trip. Alright, here we are at the end of day two. Some nasty weather on us today. Wind and a little rain, but we finished it up. We're in good spirits. We're getting ready to eat a good supper and get a good night's sleep and then tomorrow will be kudu day. So stay tuned. Mountain reed back, strong enough, and then all the sides. Dig in. Yeah, just a toast to uh, Tim and uh, Andy. Appreciate having you guys in Africa. And welcome to Drew and Grog for visiting us. And uh, Skull, enjoy your evening. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. 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 All right, here we are. This is the afternoon of the third day. Uh, we're at the lodge getting ready to go out for the afternoon hunt. We had a good hunt this morning. Saw a lot of animals, but not the cootie we were after. So. We're going to go out this afternoon and try one more time. Shoot 
fine, no stress. No, that's alright. Ah, uh, yeah, I'm sure I do not. Wasn't playing with those others. Hey, are you? How did that animal get up there? Yeah, I thought I was one in the Shit. same thing. That is steep. Well, it was like this. I missed. <laughs> so we were, up, uh, we were scouting for Nyala, top of this mountain, and one of our trackers um, saw some bush pigs laying in the reeds. And uh, yeah, so we said to Andy, let's try and shoot a bush pig for camp meat. And uh, yeah, obviously we've just come down here in the bottom to see if there's any blood. Um, we haven't picked up anything, so it was a clean miss, which I'm happy about. Yep. But uh, to see a bush pig in the day, it's a really, really unique sighting. And uh, cool for me, I haven't seen that in years. Anyways, well, mm. good results. I enjoyed it anyway. <laughs> good stuff. <laughs> Hey, hey, hey! Shoot him. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Good stuff. Dogs on him. Dogs run. Here we are, fourth morning in Africa. Good, clear, crisp morning. Uh, we went and uh, we shot a M uh, Nyala late yesterday afternoon. Uh, I think it made a bad shot, kind of maybe high. We were unsuccessful in locating it last night before dark. Uh, we've got the reinforcements in this morning and uh, we're gonna go see if we can recover this animal, beautiful animal. Right. Andy, so what we're gonna do here is that uh, these guys are gonna go. Up, um, they're gonna go up this valley here where we the last saw the Nyala. We're gonna get in the vehicle. We're gonna go up ahead and set up uh, there. But uh, all these guys think that this animal has gone up this valley. for the Nile. We've moved ahead of the trackers one more time. So let's see what happens. Does happen. Uh, yeah, we have given it a good try at least. Uh, I'm, I'm convinced that we've done the best we could to recover the Absolutely. animal. I'll take the lumps and we'll shake this off and get back to hunting. Correct. 
This is afternoon of day four. Uh, Benjamin has once again located the world's greatest warthog. So we got messed up on it yesterday. We're going to sneak in here and see if we can get in this afternoon. I'm not sure if it was the same pig. The pig that I saw here didn't look uh, extraordinary. Yeah. He was not the world's greatest warthog. No, he was not the world's greatest warthog. So the world's greatest warthog too, Andy Zero. Uh, 100%. We'll try again later. <laughs> right now we're going to go. And the most important part is that we do try. That's right. Yeah, we'll give it numerous other attempts. But yeah, great stuff. Let's move on. Let's see if we can find a spring bug. Yeah, go on spring bug. We found a spring buck. Uh, they're trying to size him a little better to see if he's worth going after, and if so, come up with a plan how to get to him. It's quite a ways out there. All right, he's big enough. We're gonna see what we can do. <laughs> well done, Andy. It's good shooting. Hey, that was a good start. We it got was. hung up by some sheep. Got hung up by some warthogs. Yeah. That's the beauty good of the stuff. Sheep. Good stuff. You never know what you're going to bump into. And there's still another springbok standing in front of us here, which hasn't come out. A fairly decent pig as well. Been a good spot. Good spot. Yeah. It was a very nice stalk and good shooting, sir. Thank you, sir. Pleasure. Enjoyed it. Great stuff. Okay, make safe. Safe. Beautiful, beautiful spring day. Oh, a lovely old red. Oh, yeah. Nice. Great stuff. Yeah. Stunning creatures. Yeah. This is 
the end of our successful spring buck hunt. We had a long stalk, uh, got held up for a few minutes by some sheep, got clear of the sheep and then the warthogs, we got held up by them a little ways. Uh, it was a good hunt, good stalk, and this is the result. For t dinner tonight, we're going to have uh, the good old yard bird, uh, ram liblet, riblets, and uh, warthog sausages. So tonight, uh, Elizabeth has uh, kindly made us lovely dinner. We've got a nice salad, and then uh, pumpkin fritters and then the creamiest uh, potato bake and uh, well dried barbecue by me. This all looks great, we're gonna sit down and enjoy it. Um, uh, so we're here all along the banks of the Fish River. Uh, we saw two nice rams. One was touch and go. Whether we uh, shoot it, I decided uh, not to. Um, I think we could do a lot better than that. And, uh, I'm sure you'll agree. And that's what I'm depending on your expertise. <laughs> so, uh, yep. Good. But Joe, we've good seen. So far. Yeah, we saw two rams for a whole bunch of females. Yeah. And beautiful country. Beautiful, beautiful country. Yeah. Cheers.
got several cows and young bulls down here. We're just kind of waiting to see anything may be following them comes out. We saw a couple of nice Nala bulls on the other side a few minutes ago, so good stuff, exciting times. Walk up and flash him anywhere and see what he looks like. But what we can see here is yeah. I just don't know why it's lying. It should be running by now. Andy, um, so I think let's get back and get some brunch, and then uh, depending on the weather. We'll Sounds good. Thank you. Great. Good stuff. Exciting stuff. Yeah, we saw a whole bunch of animals, a lot of waterback, some warthogs, diker, lots of other bird life. And, uh, yeah, good, good to be out with you this morning. I've enjoyed it. scout this ridge here for some kudu. We saw a couple coming in. We're moving kind of ahead of a front. We've got some rain coming, some cooler weather, so let's see what happens.
of day six on our trip to Africa. Back on the riverbed this morning looking for bush buck. Got a few clouds and a little bit of mist still hanging over from last night's showers, but looks like it's cleaning, clearing out here pretty quick and we're gonna have a great morning. Sitting on the side of the river this morning looking for a bush whip. Benjamin spotted a good kudu. We're gonna go see if we can get on him. to the left now. He's the one that's left there by himself. Yeah, put one in Andy. Put one in Andy. Okay. Put one in him Andy. Put one in him. That one's a mystery in the need. Pull that's my fault. Mr. Andy shooting. Good stuff boss. You've anchored him now. That happened very quickly. Okay, and you're gonna put, okay, so concentrate again. We're gonna put one into his chest. Okay. Good shooting. Low down on his chest there. Great, he's going down. Absolutely smoked him. Woo! <laughs> How exciting is that? <laughs> what did Kevin say? I want to get my hands on that sucker. <laughs> <laughs> and he's hey. good stuff. Thank you, sir. Well, that was exciting from hunting bush back to all of a sudden chasing kudu. Yeah. Very nice bull. Very nice. Very good. Very good. I'm excited. <laughs> Just a little bit. Yeah, good shooting, you know. Shot two boxes of shells at him. Uh, <laughs> it was fine. Um, but luckily, yeah, it was at uh, 350 and then about 360 when we finished up there. No, but the first shot was good. Um, and then we just uh, put some insurance shots into him. Um, yeah, just to make sure. And uh, well, let's go and see what we've got. Good morning, so we've uh, 
come out here to the Fish River this morning looking for bushback. This would be our sort of a third attempt at the bushback. And uh, so we've sort of got to that river point where we always look off. I left uh, Andy and the guys there to search the bottom areas below us. And then I took a walk around the ridge line, picked this bull up um, while I was looking for bushback. And we took a slow drive with the vehicle around, got into position. And we did a brisk stalk in on them, a whole bunch of cows. And uh, yeah, we're very lucky to get this bull. Andy had some good did some good shooting. Uh, well on 350 yards on his first shot and then uh, you just put some insurance shots into it and yeah what a great trophy Andy well done thank you Benjamin this Benjamin. has been a fantastic hunt great morning uh, the world's greatest kudu it was fast uh, yeah. when, when Benjamin said he had him uh, we got on him pretty quick and then it unfolded very quickly yeah. and uh, a tough animal they, they can soak up a lot of lead but uh, we were fortunate and I'm very happy and excited. Yeah. Incredible kudu and uh, yeah, nice way to end off our morning hunt. Agreed. Sixth evening uh, uh, in Africa. We're uh, in a good area trying to make a spot on a blessed boat. So stay tuned, we'll see what happens. and a baby sort of to his bottom left. Mm -hmm. There's one, should they stop now, they're behind each other. And he's got his head down now. So the one in the front? Or... No, he's the one above the two. Right. Yep. So yeah, he's got his head down. Okay, reload Andy. He's the, okay, he's standing, there's four together there. He's the, wait, don't shoot now. There's a baby behind him. See the one, two, three. Uh, and you see, see the group standing there? Okay, he's the one to the right. The one to the bottom. Uh, Sort of lagging there. 
Don't get one behind the bush. Yep, yeah, two babies sort of gone above him when he stops. Oh, he's nice way to the right now. Okay, make safe. That's good stuff. I'm sure your stress levels have come yeah, down come substantially. Down substantially. Yeah. Oh, I did not want to lose that animal. No, he's, uh, he's done. He's flopping around there, but beautiful animal. So we'll... We have just had a successful best well, bucket. Best bucket. <laughs> I did the same thing coming up the hill. No, that's all right. So there's so many animals in Africa, you never know. Um, but yeah, it was a good tuning under some serious uh, tense pressure. Cool. Right, here we are to the successful conclusion of this hunt this afternoon. Uh, bless Buck. Uh, Benjamin put us on these animals. We made a fairly long stalk doing some long range shooting. Uh, first shot was a little low, so we got a second opportunity at him and we're able to put him down. Uh, this is. Benjamin mentioned that this is a very old animal. He's got great character, good mass. His ends of his points are starting to wear down. Really nice animal. Uh, it amazes me, the eyesight that the folks I have with me have. I'm doing good to say, yeah, there's an animal with binoculars and their naked eye, they can look and tell you which direction it's facing and how good of an animal it is. So very fortunate to have the crew that I've got with me and I'm really excited about this animal. Great shot, sir. Great shot. Okay, good. We're gonna give him a bit of time. You've nailed him. Beautiful round that. Cool. The world's greatest. Absolutely. <laughs> I'm gonna go fetch the pickup. You guys hang ten. Just walk up to that area over there. That's I've good. marked him. I know exactly where he was. He was sort of at that large tree, a large acacia to the right of it on the green. But to the left of that uh, cut. Sounds good. Thanks, Benjamin. Okay, we have been, we put lead in the world's greatest bush, but I feel pretty good we're gonna find him. So let's go see.
Yeah, I just put one into the black. Into the black. Yeah, that's him. That's him, Andy. You all are. Tata Tupi, Tata. Tata Tupi. So you obviously crossed the river. How are you feeling, Andy? <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> now, that, now that he's laying there, I feel much better. Yeah. It's always disheartening when they run. Absolutely. But, but uh, good. once again, the eagle eyes of you guys, yeah, you lucky. folks, y'all have y'all found it. Luckily, we stopped you. <laughs> yeah. But the beagle's too scared to cross the river. It's quite, mm. quite large for her. We are here on the Fish River again. It's the fourth time we've actually come out for this, not this particular bushback, um, but we were way up on a hillside and we spotted him coming out on the edge of the river, feeding into the alfalfa. And uh, yeah, we got into the vehicle, did a quick drive down the mountain, and then a brisk walk. I pushed Andy quite hard. Possibly shouldn't have done it so fast, but I was just scared the monkeys and things were gonna see us and uh, spook him. And uh, yeah, it was just on about 250 yards and he made a great shot, a little bit low, and uh, so we followed into the river, and we put the beagle onto it, and the beagle sort of cornered it, and across the river, and we sort of set up again, and uh, luckily we spotted it, and Andy finished it off with a great shot, but uh, I'd like to congratulate everybody here on a great help, Marva, Asanda, Slu, thank you very much. Yeah, so the guys had to swim across the river, um, Nick told us it was only knee deep, but it was waist deep. Um, so next time, please issue us with wetsuits. Cheers. Andy, and anything you want to say? Hey, another animal added to the world's greatest hit list with this trip. Uh, I can't thank the guys enough. Like I said, it was pretty cold this morning. They jumped right in the river, went across, retrieved him, and brought him back. I'm especially thankful for this team that we've had. It's a, a great animal. He's going to make a... A great mount, something to remember for the lifetime. Yeah, thank good you, stuff, Benjamin. Andy. Well done. Thank you, James. All right. Here we go on another run and gun afternoon. The seventh afternoon, we spotted a diker. We're going to see if we can sneak up on him. Good stuff. Steinbuck, Warthog, now diker. Let's see what happens. Got him. Okay, can I feel it? Can I, he's done, he's done, he's done, he's done. He's done. There you go. Down. Well done. Thank you, sir. Absolute pleasure. All right. we Did you get the shot? <laughs> Great. We just finished up the biker hunt this afternoon. Stalked a pretty good ways from the trip. Benjamin, another excellent stalk. Uh, 
wind in our face, it was it worked out great. Yeah, wind at our wind in our face, sun at our back. Couldn't have asked for a better situation. Yeah, happiness. Cool. Good deal. Beautiful, beautiful animal there. Yes, they are. He's also on his way. Okay, here's the conclusion to afternoon seven, dubbed the run and gun hunt. Uh, we've been on seven or eight stalks this afternoon. Warthog, Steinbuck, a couple of Diker, and uh, Benjamin spotted this one and executed a successful stalk several hundred yards. Everything was great, wind in our face, sun to our back, and uh, we've got a nice start to the tiny team. We're still in afternoon seven of the run and gun hunt. Uh, Benjamin spotted a Steinbuck on the way out. We'll see if we can be successful with it. A male, beautiful. It's about as big as they get. Yeah. A very fierce creature. Yeah. Cool. Here we are, the conclusion of day seven, the afternoon, the run and gun hunt. Uh, about 30 minutes ago, we take taken the diker, a good good animal, on the way out. Benjamin spotted the Steinbuck here, and said he was a world's greatest Steinbuck. So we took him. Uh, Conclusion to another fabulous day. Had a great time and very appreciative to everybody that made this happen. Okay, we're back at the uh, skinning rack on the uh, uh, last, the seventh day. It's almost dark. We're cleaning up. We've had an exceptional day. We've uh, fortunate with the bush buck this morning. Steinbuck and the Diker this afternoon, all three world's greatest animals. We've had a good day. I appreciate everybody's support and to make this happen. Benjamin, the trackers, Nadine, our camera person. Thanks. Well, a day, eight to what hunt, and uh, we've come into a new area looking for Nyala. Yeah, it looks like a beautiful day. Sun's up, Andy's on point. Let's give us, wish us some luck. Enjoy. Morning eight, Nile of Redemption. Just go 
This just wait, honey. Let's leave it in here. Okay. Got on the Nile pretty quick. Benjamin judged him, said he needs to grow a little longer, so we're gonna keep looking. Pick up and uh, try for another one. Sounds good. It's thick in there. Can't see much. Right? Cool. Let's head back to the vehicle. Alright, well, we just completed our second stalk on Nyala this morning. Uh, they got the better of us, outsmarted us, got away in this thick, thick country. So we're headed to the truck now and we're going to do this again. They haven't beaten us, they just won this round. So we're in a good place.
inside. It's about 200 yards, perfect. Great shot. You smoked him. Great, great shot. You pounded his ass. Well done, Emmy. Thank you, Benjamin. Absolute pleasure, sir. Absolutely. The world's greatest warthog is down. <laughs> okay, we're safe. 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 Great. You can see the blood from here. You smoked him. Let's go and see him. Good thing. All right, here we are, the uh, morning, eighth morning here, our last morning hunt in Africa. Uh, we were on this hillside behind us, uh, glassing for Nyala. We've been chasing them all morning. And uh, two warthogs showed up, and they was, the tracker spotted them from the hillside behind us. So we uh, briskly walked down the mountain, got within 200 yards, and uh, fortunate to make a good shot on him. And this ends the world's greatest warthog hunt. Here we are at the end of my eight day African adventure. Uh, and it has been an adventure. I've seen sights and sounds that I've never imagined would be possible. Uh, we've seen thousands of animals. Every species that uh, Nick advertises are here. The uh, team that I had, Benjamin, my professional hunter, Nadine, my production manager. The two trackers, uh, phenomenal. We've had uh, Bella and uh, Blackjack and Sue as our canine experts. They've been phenomenal. Uh, this is a once in a lifetime deal because this is the first trip I've ever made to Africa and I've heard it said several times the person you envy is the one that's going to Africa for the first time. It's been the first, but it won't be the last. Uh, it's been some emotional times. Uh, lots of laughs, lots of jokes. The, the scenery is phenomenal. We've ridden thousands, hundreds of thousands of acres, and each place has its own special meaning uh, going forward. When I come back, I want to see these places again. We've seen, we've got video that I'm told of things that are very uncommon in the day. Uh, the first morning of our hunt happened quickly. That was the Kim's book hunt. Of course, that'll be special because it was the first African animal I took. Uh, again, it happened quickly and the bug fever never kicked in. I was able to 
to make that shot, probably one of the better shots of the trip. Uh, one of the low points, uh, I lost an island. That was one of the main species I was coming for, just for the color and the gait, but uh, that was on me. And I accept that, and I spent a couple of more days, and looks like they outsmarted us. But they're top on the list when we come back. Let me tell you about the outfitter, Nick Boker, and his wife, Miss Elizabeth. They opened their homes to me, and uh, within the first 30 minutes I was there, I felt like I belonged. That, that I had known them for years, and that I would belonged and had been would be welcome in their house for many years to come. Uh, they've got they run a great operation. They're first-rate service. Wonderful food. I've eaten meals here fancier than anything I've had in the five-star restaurants. So definitely bring your appetite. The one thing I would tell you when you get ready to come out here, do your part. Get you a set of shooting sticks. Practice. Because of all the uh, quality, the experience, the expertise of the people out here. When you get on the gun, that's on you. You're responsible for taking the animal. And we've taken the total, the seven animals that we had in the original package, plus three more. Uh, we've had the last three hunts were pretty much a la carte, whatever was offered. We didn't have a specific animal we were going after. So give yourself a little leeway. Pick you a few animals that you really want to take home, but don't get set on just that set of animals. There's so many species that, and you may see that one special animal. Don't be scared to shoot it and take it home. It's a lot cheaper to shoot them up while you're over here than it is to make a trip to come back. Well, I've had a wonderful experience here at Nick, Nick Bowker Safaris. I highly recommend him and would suggest anyone, if it's your first trip or your 20th trip, you need to come down and spend some time with Nick. Uh, the Plains game hunting is phenomenal. The, he also offers a buffalo hunt. You can look on his website and get all that information. Just take it from me. It is worth the experience. It's the uh, end of our hunt here, day eight. And uh, from day one, it's been an absolute privilege and an honor hunting with you. It's been my privilege. Yeah. We've taken some awesome trophies and we have memories to last a lifetime. Yes. And I really appreciate your time and efforts coming out with us and hunting with us. All the guys in camp, whether it's from kitchen staff to trackers to anybody who may have been part of this hunt, we, you know, we appreciate it. And, uh, safe travels back home. Yeah, take care. And I appreciate you. Thank you, Benjamin, Absolute for all pleasure. you've done this week. Congrats. It's been absolutely wonderful. Congrats. Thank you. Cheers. So, I guess as the sun sets and uh, I prepare to travel back home, this has been one hell of an experience. And I have been treated like royalty, and I'll definitely be coming back.